just don't feel like it's quite finished. I know what you mean. If it's for Miss Shirley, it needs to be perfect. Hearts and Hooves Day only comes once a year, after all. I say we add a little more ribbon. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, and just a tiny bit more lace. A few more hoof prints. Glitter! It could definitely use just a little more glitter. Now that'll show Miss Cheerily how much we care about her. Just have to get it to the Hearts and Pooh's party at school. I think we're gonna need a bigger envelope. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? And so big. We just wanted to let you know that we think you're the best teacher in the whole wide world. And we think you're super. And that we love you so, so much. And we want you to have the best hearts and hoofs thing ever. Thank you so much, girls. I love it. I really do. I'm sure it's nothing compared to the gifts you've gotten from your very special sum pony. Oh, I don't have a very special sum pony at the moment. Really? Sumpony as amazing as you not have a very special Sumpony on Hearts and Hooves Day. It's all right, Sweetie Belle. I have lots of good friends and wonderful students who care about me very much. I'm going to have an absolutely terrific Hearts and Hooves Day. All right, every pony. Who's ready to play Pin the Heart on the Pony? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Or, I want to If any pony deserves a very special Sumpony, it's her. <gasps> Uh, you all right? I'm more than all right. I just come up with the best idea ever. We're gonna find Miss Cheerily a very special sun pony. That is the best idea ever. I told you. So what are we waiting for? Hearts and Hoof Day is almost over. Let's get out there and find some pony special for Cheerily already. Yeah, let's do it. Now it can't be just any pony. Miss Cheerilee is one of the best mares in Ponyville. She deserves to have one of the best stallions as her very special sun pony. Cheerilee is sweet and kind. She's the best teacher we could hope for. The perfect stallion you and I must find. One to really make her heart so. This one's too young, this one's too old. He clearly has a terrible cold. This guy's too silly, he's way too uptight. I say! Well, nothing's wrong with this one, he seems all right. His girlfriend sure thinks so. How about this one? He's much too flashy. He might do if he weren't so splashy. Too short. for Hearts and Hooves Day? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please say... Nope. <gasps> we did it, girls. We found the one who will send our teacher's heart a flutter. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you talking about my brother? Sweetie Belle is right. Big Macintosh is the perfect match for Miss Cheerly. He's really nice, super hard working. Hmm. But he's also pretty shy. He's never gonna ask Miss Cheerly to be his very special sun pony. 
Maybe he doesn't have to. Huh? If we can get Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee in a really romantic setting, I bet she'll ask him. Sounds like a plan to me. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get out there and create the perfect day. Yay! <laughs> Flowers! Don't forget the flowers! Oops! I'm on it! They're coming! This is gonna be perfect! Miss Cheerley is gonna have the best hearts and hoops day ever! With her new very special song pony! <laughs> Hi, girls! Hi, Hi Miss Cheerley! So you three said you needed help identifying a tree you found here near the gazebo? That's an apple tree. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, big brother. We went and fixed up the gazebo all on our own. See? As long as you're here, why not have a bite to eat from this romantic-looking picnic? Oh, gosh, seems like there's only room for two. I guess we'll just be going, man. <laughs> You really think this will work? Of course it will work. They're perfect for each other. Beautiful day we're having. Yep. Any big plans for tonight? Nope. Oh, come on, Miss Cheerilee. Ask him to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? <laughs> Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do ya? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! That's not slow. Surf do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> 
I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sumpony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be in, in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special Sumpony? Yup. Special sun pony. Hey, yeah. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, smoochy, woochy, baby, wordy. Big Mac! Hey! Hello! What's going on? Miss Cheerilee, are you all right? I have a special sum pony. A kissy, wissy, snuggy, wuggy, sugar bear. I think we may have given them too big of an edge. You're my cuddly, waddly, poochy, whoopsy pumpkin pie. You think? What have we done? My brother's acting like a great A goofball. Maybe we added too much rainbow. Or maybe not enough cloud. Or maybe... Uh-oh. What do you mean? Uh-oh. We might not have given Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee a love potion. We may have given them a love poison. What? Apparently, some prince a long time ago whipped up this recipe and gave it to this princess he liked. He meant it to be a love potion. But things didn't turn out so well. How not so well did things turn out? Well, there's something here about a dragon, the kingdom falling... Chaos reigning. Okay, apparently it was all because the prince and princess were so lost in each other's eyes that they couldn't perform their royal duties. Great! We've not only turned Big Mac and Miss Cheerley into a couple of nonsense spouting nincompoops, we may have put all of Ponyville in jeopardy! <laughs> Come on, Apple Bloom. Miss Cheerley and Big Mac don't have any royal duties. But they still got responsibilities. If we don't fix this, oh no, Miss Cheerley won't be able to teach. Big Mac won't be able to harvest any apples. And before you know it, Ponyville will be overrun with uneducated little ponies starved for apples. Oh, it'll be chaos, it'll be chaos! There's an antidote. Well, why didn't you say so? Didn't you see me getting all panicked back there? If we can keep Miss Cheerley and Big Mac from looking into each other's eyes for one full hour, the love curse will be broken. Only an hour? <laughs> we can pull that off in a second. You take the first sip, Snuggle Wuggles. Nope, you take it, Schnoodle Bump. No, you, Schnooky Bumps. No, you, Pookie Pie. I'm all for romance, but this has been going on for hours. What's happened to these two? Well, these lovebirds will probably be planning a wedding soon. We can always use the catering business. A wedding? That's it! Miss Charlie and Big Mac should get married. How is getting hit gonna keep them apart? They aren't really gonna get married. They're just gonna get ready to get married. <laughs> no, you, Biscuit Biscuit Bear. No, you are the little snuggy bunny. Hi, Miss Charlie. How are you? I have a very special sun pony. 
I had a very special sun pony. Yeah, we noticed. Gosh, you two are so in love. The next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Married? That's right. Married. 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 Ugh. Of course, if you're gonna get married, you want to pick out a really nice diamond for your ugh, schmoopy doopy a kooky pie. Diamond. Schmoopy. Don't you think you should start looking for your wedding dress? You'll want to look your best for your honey bunny snuggle baby. <laughs> Now we just need to keep them apart. I'll keep Miss Truly occupied. You two do the same with Big Man. No problem. Meet you back at the clubhouse in an hour when this whole mess is over. This one looks nice. Better try it on, though. down, 50 minutes to go. No. No. Not that one either. No. Too shiny. No. You know, something less shiny. Miss Cheerley deserves the best. How much time is left? I'm running out of ways to make diamonds sound bad. We still have 25 minutes. Oh. Where's my brother? He made his purchase and departed out the back. Said something about needing to see his schmoopy schmoop. Ugh. Okay, I'll see what I can do to slow him down. You go on to Carousel Boutique and more sweet baby.
Are you sitting on a feather bed in a hole in the ground? Yep. Girls, can you explain why I look like I'm getting married at the bottom of a pit? We may have given you the teeny tiniest bit of love potion that may have turned out to actually be a love poison. And you may have gone just a teeny tiny spit nutty. But we only did it because we thought you and Big Mac would be really happy if you could be each other's very special sun ponies on Hearts and Hooves Day. Our hearts and hooves were in the right place. We appreciate that you care about us and want us to be happy, but... But no matter how good our intentions might have been, we should have never meddled in your relationship. No pony can force two ponies to be together. It's up to every pony to choose that very special sun pony for themselves. We're, We're sorry. And you can think about how sorry you are while you're doing all of Big Mac's chores at Sweet Apple Acres. Does that seem like a fair punishment to you? Yep. Uh -huh. Hey there, Miss Cherily. What are you doing here? Since you three are doing all of his chores, Big Mac and I thought we'd have a picnic at the gazebo. Ready, sugar bear? Yep, pumpkin pie. <gasps> Princess Celestia cordially invites you to the wedding of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and... <gasps> My brother? Twily! Oh, I missed you, kid. How dare you not tell me in person that you were getting married? A threat has been made against Canterlot. Princess Celestia asked that I help provide additional protection. But I'm still pretty ticked you're marrying some pony I don't even know. Princess Miyamore Cadenza is Cadence. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Aha. Uh -huh. And I think I should wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? <sighs> She's evil. I saw her put a spell on my brother that made his eyes go all... Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me. She's been using her magic to heal me. If I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. I just lost a brother. I'm sorry. You will be. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? Hello? Is anyone there? Where am I? The caves beneath Canterlot, once home to greedy unicorns who wanted to claim the gems that could be found inside. And now, your prison. Help! Help! <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear you. And no one will ever think to look for you either. Most ponies have forgotten that these caves even exist, which is why they are the ideal place to keep the ones who try to interfere with my plans. <laughs> plans? What plans? The plans I have for your brother, of course. Don't you dare do anything to my brother, you... you monster! Only way to stop me is to catch me. <laughs> Over here! It's me! Please, you have to believe me. 
I've been imprisoned like you. The Cadence who brought you down here was an imposter. Likely story! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and, and do, do a little shake. shake. You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? <laughs> we have to get out of here. We have to stop her. Gentle Colts, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Princess Miyamore Cadenza and Shining Mine. Oh, we're never going to save him. We will. We just have to find... There! You're not going anywhere. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you... Stop! <laughs> Why does she have to be so possessive of her brother? <laughs> Why does she have to ruin my special day? <laughs> because it's not your special day, it's mine. <gasps> what? But how did you escape my bridesmaids? I want it! <laughs> Clever, but you're still too late. I, I don't understand. How can there be two of them? She's a changeling. She takes the form of some pony you love and gains power by feeding off your love for them. <laughs> right you are, princess. And as queen of the changelings, it is up to me to find food for my subjects. 
Equestria has more love than any place I've ever encountered. My fellow changelings will be able to devour so much of it that we will gain more power than we have ever dreamed of. They'll never get the chance. Shining Armor's protection spell will keep them from ever even reaching us. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Isn't that right, dear? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Don't want to go back to the cave now, do you? Ever since I took your place, I've been feeding off Shining Armor's love for you. Every moment he grows weaker, and so does his spell. Even now, my minions are chipping away at it. <laughs> <laughs> he may not be my husband, but he is under my total control now. And, I'm sorry to say, unable to perform his duties as captain of the royal guard. Not my shining armor! Soon, my changeling army will break through. First, we take Canterlot, and then all of Equestria! No. You won't. You may have made it impossible for Shining Armor to perform his spell, but now that you have so foolishly revealed your true self, I can protect my subjects from you! Shining Armor's love for you is even stronger than I thought. Consuming it has made me even more powerful than Celestia! The elements of harmony. You must get to them and use their power to defeat the Queen. Ready! <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide!
office. Twilight and her friends will... You were saying... You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Feed! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control, every stallion, mare, and foal Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick, go to him while you still have the chance. Wedding over? It's all over. Your spell. Perform your spell. <laughs> what good would that do? My changelings already roam free. No. My power is useless now. I don't have the strength to repel them. My love will give you strength. <laughs> what a lovely, but absolutely ridiculous sentiment. together. I get why the Queen of the Changelings wanted to be with you, but how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be getting a pretty great sister, too. Gentle Colts, 
We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of the real Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Princess Cadence is fine. Hmm. The union of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor. The strength of their commitment is clear. The power of their love, undeniable. May we have the rings, please? I now pronounce you Mayor and Colt. <laughs> this is your victory as much as theirs. You persisted in the face of doubt, and your actions led to your being able to bring the real Princess Cadence back to us. Learning to trust your instincts is a valuable lesson to learn. Rainbow Dash, that's your cue. None of this would have been possible without you, little sis. Love you, Twilight. Love you too, BBBFF. Ready to go? Oh, almost forgot. Distractions. Today is too important. Free shelving day. <laughs> Understanding medieval Equestria goes in Oni history. Modern spellcasting. That's classics. The art of the to-do list. Actually, I kind of want to read that again. <laughs> Spike, what are you laughing at? This little beauty is my birthday present to myself. It's a fire ruby. I've been aging it for months, and it's almost ripe. I just use the whole floor as one big shelf. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Hello! Any pony home? Twilight! Is that a fire ruby? Oh, that 
must be at least 20 carrots. No inclusions, pristine facets, and totally delicious. Uh, if you guys don't mind? Oh, uh, of course. Uh, I just came by to see if you had any books on historical fashion. Did you say delicious? Sure did. Next week's my birthday, and this is my birthday dinner. Start with this one. Thanks, Twilight. I've got a feeling Ruffle Tap of the Capes are going to make a huge comeback this season, and I want to be ahead of the game. I hope it's as tasty as it is beautiful, Spike. I've never seen anything quite so stunning before. Gosh, you really like it, huh? Like it? It's magnificent! Then you should have it. This beautiful gem was meant to be with you. I don't know what to say. This is so thoughtful. Oh, my little spiky flaky. Thank you so much. Wow, Spike. That's one of the kindest, most generous things you've ever done. I've never seen Rarity so happy. I will never wash this cheek again. <sighs> Just about finished, Spike. Every pony will be here soon. There. Perfect. Everything looks perfect. Not quite everything. A washcloth? I don't get it. Oh, no way, Twilight. I said I wasn't going to wash the cheek that Rarity kissed, and I meant it. It's over, Spike. I'm cleaning that cheek. It's mine. Stop it. Never. I won't. They are, birthday boy. Happy birthday, Spike. Don't you know you get presents on your birthday? Well, actually, this is my first birthday in Ponyville. I usually just get one present from Twilight. A book. Presents. This is from my new line of Top of the Capes. I'm going to make one for each of you. Wow! wow. Oh, I've been inspired by the generosity of my little spiky wikey who gave me this beautiful fire ruby. One of the kindest acts I've ever experienced. Hmm. Applejack, I can't thank you enough for this great blanket. I really needed a new one. Come on, Spike. You already thanked me 15 times. I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. I know I keep thanking you guys, but I'm just so grateful. I wish this party could last forever. Duh! This party can't last forever because you have to go to Sugar Cube Corner because the cake said they have a special surprise for you because it's your birthday! No way! I said the party could last forever, but it doesn't need to end right now! Mrs. Cake? There's the dragon of the hour. Happy birthday, Spike. Thanks. When we found out it was your birthday, we couldn't resist trying out a new recipe. Sapphire. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Man, first I get a bunch of great presents from my best friends, and now an amazing sapphire cupcake. Oh, what a day. So Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, Shirley. That's okay. What's got you so excited? Pinkie Pie told me I should come see the cake so they could give me a treat because it's my birthday today. 
Well, happy birthday, Spike. I wish I had something to give you. Uh... Oh! Here you go. Wow, really? Sure. Every pony should get fun gifts on their birthday. Have a great birthday, Spike. I wish every day was my birthday. Pinkie Pie mentions my birthday to the cakes, and I get a cupcake. I mention it to Cheer Lee, and I get this great hat. Hmm, I wonder. Hey there, Lickety Split! That's a pretty cool ball you got there. Did you know it's my birthday? <laughs> This is unbelievable! <laughs> hey, Junebug! It's my birthday! <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Spike! Well, aren't you gonna give me something? You know, like a birthday present? Um, I, I don't have anything. Well, how about those flowers? I'll take those. Spike! <laughs> Sorry, Junebug. I think Spike might have gotten a little carried away. Uh, no problem. Uh, happy birthday, Spike! What are you doing? You're out here demanding gifts now? Wow, you're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. Thanks for snapping me out of it. I'd better go give Cheerilee your hat back. No problem. See you at home later? Sounds good! <laughs> Who else has a present for Spiky Wikey? Wow, what a rough night's sleep, Spike. I had the weirdest dream. <sighs> yeah. I can't believe you. Where'd you get all this? <gasps> What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave Will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. <laughs> Ooh, he 
is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then, the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy! I'm not letting you out. Ugh, Spike, I just reshelled this room. steal my apples. For that matter, who would steal my leaves? Applejack, help! Spike's running wild and I need you to lasso him! <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Twilight. Sweet little Spike running wild. <laughs> what a laugh. Twilight, get my rope. <laughs>
Urban Pony stings, terrorize the town, and use me as a weapon against my own friends. Which, as horrible as it is, I can almost understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! <laughs> I'm not getting this gemstone! <clears throat> this was given to me by my dear friend, Spikey Wikey, the kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever. And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you! <clears throat> I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. <laughs> oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. Spike? You're the rampaging dragon? tell you how absolutely proud I am of you. Proud of me? Yes. It was you who stopped, well, you, from destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff but it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. Well, I learned that it truly is better to give than to receive, and that kindness and generosity are what lead to true friendship. And that's more valuable than anything in the world. Well, almost anything. 